P Q R H. And you are also given P Q is equal to Q R, which means that this side is equal to this side. P S is equal to R S, which means I'll put double marks here, is equal to this side. Prove that triangle P Q S is congruent to triangle Q R S. Also, prove that Q S bisects angle P S R. So this is a very uh, simple situation. Let's get down to the solution. <coughs> Apply SSS criterion. Now, in a triangle, we know that triangle PQS will be congruent to triangle QRS if all the three sides of PQS are equal to triangle QRS. So let's see, we are given that PQ is equal to QR, so one side is equal. Then we are given that PS is equal to RS, the second side is equal. Now which is the third side of angle PQS? The third side of angle PQS is what? Is QS, this line. And which is the third side of angle QRS? Again, the third side is QS only. And by implication, if it's the same side, it has to be equal. Therefore, if three sides are equal, triangle PQS is congruent to triangle QRS. Hence proof. Now, let's come to the second question. And what is the second question? Prove that QS bisects angle PSR. Now, if, if QS were to bisect angle PSR, then basically angle PSQ should be equal to angle QSR. And why is the case? Because then necessarily this angle has to be equal to this angle. So if there's an angle Q, P, Q, P, S, R, if Q is bisects it, that will mean that these two parts are equal. Now, by first property, we know that triangle P, Q, S, which is this triangle, is congruent to triangle Q, R, S, which is this part, right? Now, if that be the case, then the corresponding angles have to be equal, right? Now, we know PQS. So, if PQS should be equal to angle QSR, because if these two are congruent triangle, then their corresponding angle have to be equal. Therefore, these two angles have to be equal. And if that is the case, then definitely QS bisects angle PSR. By implication, it follows that this has to divide it into two parts. <coughs> 